Hello world, it's Siraj, and I've created a free three-month study guide for total beginners to learn the skills they need to get a job as a machine learning engineer or build their own AI startup. I'll describe it in this video. It's the kind I would use myself to prepare for interviews at companies like Tesla, where they get to build computer vision and path planning systems for self-driving cars and humanoid robots, or at Microsoft, where they get to build natural language processing systems like ChatGPT for question answering, or image generators like DALI, or speech recognizers like Whisper. I went through top machine learning engineer job listings and compiled a list of the common tools that they all require, including knowledge of Python, PyTorch, and data pipeline tools, then designed this guide to learn all of them. It's divided into three parts, machine learning, deep learning, and machine learning operations. Each week we'll complete a different interactive learning course and an associated Python programming assignment. We can learn a lot faster than usual because we don't have to spend so much time trying to understand individual concepts anymore. AI services like Elicit, Explain Paper, and Summary generate high quality explanations for any technical concepts we'd like to learn from math, text, or images. GitHub Copilot even generates code explanations line by line, and there are no local installation requirements for anything anymore. It's all browser-based, using tools like GitHub Code Spaces, Replit, Hugging Face Spaces, and Google Colab for remote execution. For the final project, we'll build artificial general intelligence that solves all human suffering. No, but actually, the final is to build our own 2D self-driving car simulation web app, which will integrate everything we've learned into one data pipeline. In order to learn machine learning, we need to first understand basic programming concepts and have experience with a programming language. For this, we use the Introduction to Python book by Alan Downey, where we can learn basic data structures and algorithms in Python. And at the end, we'll build a simple search function for researchers. We also need a download of knowledge of four math topics into our brains, linear algebra, calculus, statistics, and probability theory, since we don't have Neuralink yet. Zackly.com is the best resource for this. It's a math education website. Topics are really concise, lots of visuals, and it has interactive problems. After we're done learning, we'll solve a Bayesian probability problem for supply chain management with pencil and paper. After the math, we're ready to start learning basic data analysis. Kaggle Learn is the best way to learn data computation with NumPy. Data manipulation with Pandas data visualization with Seaborn, and big data tools like SQL and BigQuery. We'll build a data visualization IPython notebook for farmers as an assignment by searching for and visualizing an agricultural data set. When we're ready to dive into machine learning techniques, the IPython cookbook by Cyril Rosan, second edition is best. It's very extensive covering all classical techniques using scikit-learn. At the end, we'll build a random forest regression model for real estate cleaning, augmenting, and feature engineering a data set to predict the prices of houses next year in Boston. Now, on to deep learning. That is a subset of machine learning that uses neural networks to make predictions from big data, and it's responsible for most of the hype we see today. PyTorch is the most popular deep learning library, so we can start learning with the Dive into Deep Learning interactive book, which has already been adopted by 400 universities globally. But our first assignment will be to build our own simple feed-forward neural network with no libraries first to really understand the basics. Since 2017, deep learning research has consolidated into one type of neural network, the transformer. These are next token predictors, which when scaled with enough data, outperform other neural networks across every domain. They use a technique called attention, which lets information propagate between input data points, improving accuracy. We can learn Transformers from Hugging Face, an open source AI community with so many resources to offer. Their libraries are all PyTorch compatible, but to understand the Transformer architecture line by line, we'll use GitHub Copilot to analyze Andre Karpathy's 200 line mini GPT implementation in PyTorch. And let's not forget diffusers. 
These are generative models, like the popular stable diffusion for images, but diffusers can generate anything, even 3D proteins or audio. Fast.ai has an updated course for this topic, and Jeremy Howard has always been a great teacher. We can create a hugging face space, select an existing image dataset, and create a web interface for architects to generate designs. Lastly, we need to learn the intersection of reinforcement learning and deep learning, and Simonini Thomas's course is perfect for this. It covers libraries like RL Baselines and Unity, as well as introduces us to techniques like Q-learning and proximal policy optimization. For our assignment, we'll train a humanoid construction robot to walk in simulation for 10 seconds. Now for the fun part, machine learning operations, where we learn the practical aspects of productionalizing ML services, including design, development, production, and data engineering. We'll start with Goku Mohandas's Made with ML course to learn design. We'll use his guidance on a medical imaging classification app for doctors, creating the product requirements, design documentation, and project plan. Then we can move on to development with the full stack deep learning course. It teaches us continuous integration principles, introduces libraries for scaling models like PyTorch Lightning and weights and biases, as well as deployment tools like Docker, AWS, Lambda, Gradio, and Streamlit. We'll use what we learned to package a pre-trained text recognition model into a Torch script binary, wrap it in a serverless cloud function, and build a simple UI for editors. After that, we can move on to learning more production tools with the datatalks.club ML Ops Zoom Camp. This is a very detailed repository that teaches practical aspects of productionalizing ML services, from collecting requirements to model deployment to monitoring. Our task will be to deploy a pre-trained model for traffic prediction and generate a report on any feature drift between model versions. To do this, we'll need to learn containerization with Kubernetes, monitoring web services with Prometheus, evidently Grafana, batch jobs with MongoDB, and infrastructure as code with Terraform. The last topic is to learn data engineering, and datatalks.club has another course on this which, which teaches us Airflow and GCP for data ingestion, Kafka for streaming, and Spark for batch processing. The final project is to deploy our own self-driving car simulation web app. This pure JavaScript tensorflow.js example is a great starting point. Collect simple image frames and user inputs, then train a deep learning model to learn the mapping between image frames and steering directions. Once fully trained, the car can drive by itself. It'll also look really snazzy on your project portfolio. No cap. The curriculum link is in the video description. Happy learning, wizards.